Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in Vienna, Austria. I got here this morning at about 11, you know, to 12. Got in, checked in. It's a nice, chic boutique hotel. I'm gonna, I was gonna show you guys, but you know, I made my usual mess <laughs> everywhere when I was dressing up. So no, it's just like an usual, you know, nothing too special. Usual, nice, chic boutique rest hotel. What I exactly what I need for the one day I'm here. I'm off tomorrow. I think my flight is for 4 p.m. tomorrow. Um, and I am. Um, will be leaving for the airport as usual I like say 1 12. today i'm doing most of the things the activities i've got planned so right now i'm going to cave ida i'm just gonna have like a black coffee there because guys i'm still trying to lose weight i know i told you guys like one day i'm gonna come up and be like guys i've succeeded i have succeeded and you guys are gonna be happy for me but but till then we're doing the right things so i'm going to have black coffee there and you know maybe a salad maybe something healthy who knows let's get there i left my makeup uh, stuff like everything about lips i left i only brought like a lip balm which i use to prevent my lips from cracking and that's what i've used now and some things like go get like a proper makeup there's a max store just about two miles away um i've checked in on the uber it's around or makeup forever and the benefit as well they're all operating in the same area probably more or something close to this place but i'm thinking do i need it do i just stick to this simple balm you know cute looking cute but we'll see if i go there i'll show you guys so that wasn't in my plan at the region i like it it makes me think about how you know life you can have plans and plans like this trip i really try to because one thing i always do is i leave my charger or i leave something and then i have to start looking for where to and it's buy or get it and it's so inconveniencing so this trip i was like you know what i'm gonna do everything right but that didn't you know that didn't happen so um it just shows you that you know what with life you can plan but you have to surrender to god anyways i know we haven't done a lot of my talk talk you know that i used to do and i miss it i miss it a lot i'm going to come back to that very soon i've just been traveling a lot and before you know i come back it's time for my next trip and all that and you know obviously having a full-time job as well you know it's been a lot to just balance it all but anyway guys as i said if i go to the mall if i go to get wherever i'm going to show you guys so yeah that's that for now um i'm going to keep right as i said i'm going to some tourist attractions i think it's the danube towers so i'm get on top of danube towers and some other attractions that i will show you guys like when i'm there i would tell you the names because i've just seen them of people that have gone on social media on instagram you know done my research as well and online google whatever i'm going to like some nice places i think so for tonight for dinner i'm going to ongsi restaurant spelled o-n-y-x don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly if you come pronounce it better let me know i want to learn um leave a comment let me know okay it's an interactive session here yeah so i'm doing that now and i just i'm gonna get my uber now my bag's packed ready to go and i just thought you know i'll speak to you guys before i go so if i as i said if i decide to get anything lips i will be going to the i imagine is a mall because there's a benefit cosmetic there's a mac forever cosmetic and there's a um as a mac cosmetic and there's a makeup forever cosmetic and they are all around the same area so i mean i'm hoping it's a mall but um yeah the, the thought that came to my mind when i first came in was um first of all the driver was nasty of booking booking.com of booking.com he was just not nice he did not help me on my suitcase it's easy to see but the hotel they've been amazing it's been very you know it's been everything i expect you know the receptionist was nice everything like he does the job of why you know the shop while i'm here to achieve whatever goal i want to achieve but yeah and um another thing i was saying was um I expected something else when I came in. I was like, Austria. I'm going to show you guys, obviously. I'm going to do a video of the roads and all of that. I wasn't settled before, so I did not take videos of that. But I will take now that I'm going out. It's about 2 p.m. Is it? Let me see. Oh, 2.29, guys. I have to go soon. I have to leave, like, right now. You know, it's just, I was just thinking. I was like, whoa, you know, Italy and Paris, they are really who they say they are. In the sense that, you know, they are really just such nice places. Like, the buildings in Venice is giving very old school a cake like i don't know the word to use now like it's not giving modern at all i know there's some parts of italy i know there's some parts of them um, especially milan and even the Malfi coast was like that as well when i went but this is giving like really ancient old school you know not popping but before i judge i'll let you guys be the judge come with me as usual and i will show you guys everything let me know are you coming to austria venia would you like to come you know leave a comment ask me questions i'm going to respond to you like let me know what you guys want to see i know that i always say that and i'll continue to say that and if you get into this part of the video don't forget to say yay i just want to know how many people were dedicated enough to get to this part of the video so yeah thank you for watching
So let's go. Hey guys, I am at Cape Ida. I'm just about to place an order. That's what the menu looks like. Can you see? And um, there's like cake, coffee, and all of that. And it was just 10 minutes away from my hotel, so I didn't need to take an Uber. Actually, I need to cancel the Uber now because I did call the Uber, but I never got it. So I wouldn't get internet until I get back to my hotel. That's weird. It's mostly pastry, cakes, and all of that. I'm trying to avoid all that kind of stuff. I always like to check if my mic is on because it's happened to me too many times, so now I'm like. Is my mic on? Is it on? Yeah, so it's all cake and pastries really. Hmm, I thought they would have like a salad or something. They have a sandwich. Yeah, they have juices as well. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what the menu looks like. It's the famous Cape Ada on. Yeah, let me show you guys what the menu looks like. So I ended up getting uh, like an overnight oat because I'm still trying to get me on our healthy pee. And then I got a fruit tea as well. So um, that's the fruit tea. I'm gonna start having it. I'm gonna take pictures first. <laughs> I mean, a girl has to try, isn't it? I'm trying to take myself pictures because I don't know when this pool will be ready. Hey guys, I'm still here sipping my tea, quite literally. I'm just waiting for them to have my time to take me pictures because it's so busy here. Asking them to take pictures is unfair to them. But they have said that they'll come and take me pictures. So I got some pictures with my coat on. And um, I just want to get some without the coat. So it was just a plain fruit tea. I told you guys, taking you guys on this healthy journey of mine. Because this 2024 will become in the best version of ourselves. It was quite shiny. I know I should have done it in the bathroom. You know, you guys like are really like living the life. You get to see behind the scenes of everything I post on Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Scott Neosage. So um, yeah, you got to see a real tea. How I'm, you know touching my face, what I'm doing. I shouldn't be doing this here. Anyway. You get to see everything. This is the balm that I, I didn't even bring my like proper balm because I used the sleeping mask by, um, oh, what's it called? Yeah, that branded one. This one is just a Vaseline, a simple for non-cracky lips. Turned out to be my makeup <laughs> today. So we're well, not complaining. I just hope that at night though, when I'm trying to take pictures, it doesn't affect. So yeah, I'm still waiting for her. Guys, the Halilia challenge is on. So today is the 6th of February. I hope you guys join that because it's life changing. And I've had so many things happen for me and in my life that I'm very grateful for through that challenge. Obviously, there's some things I'm still praying and hoping for. You should join the Halilia challenge on um, Pastor Nat. It's Nathaniel Bassi. I'm sure everyone knows about it. But yeah, I don't know why I felt late to say to talk about it. Yeah. I don't know how long she'll be, but I'll wait. I'm the one that needs a favor, so I'll wait. I'll be patient. I'll be patient with them. I don't know why the iPhone um, 15 Pro Max, the photos are very grainy. I see. Do you see what I mean? photos are very grainy I like my view now let me just show you guys my view I think this is like the city center so guys I have been eating I've just finished my oat I'm gonna finish the tea soon going to be on my way as i said my hotel is literally there and there so there's not going to be any need for an uber i don't even have internet because they don't have internet here so we're going to catch up in the room i'm going out tonight and i'm going to uh, the ongs yeah that like you guys will see the view is pretty everything is even yeah i think i'll just pay the bill and go because it's still bright now so that i can have time to get ready for today maybe rest or something i was going to go to the daniel big towers and somewhere else but it's full 
So I'm thinking before I go there, come back, I'm a bit too tired. I might do that in the morning. Mm, I think I'll do that in the morning. So do the sightseeing tomorrow and then do the like restaurants today. Great idea. So guys, that's it from me now. So guys, I made it to the makeup store. I was going to go to Mac, but this people was literally opposite the cafe I just came from. So I'm just getting some makeup here. But yeah, I told you guys I'll let you know if I did. And I decided I might be doing that. Trying to find what to, what I really need. Yes, YouTuber. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, my my name is Courtney Saigi on YouTube. C O U R T N E Y. Follow me, subscribe, okay? <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to get. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just gained a subscriber, guys. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just gained a new subscriber in Vienna, Austria. Exciting! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back to my room. I came back and I went straight into touching up my makeup. I couldn't even um, speak to you guys. After I left to the cafe, I went to the makeup store where I met the very nice people. You guys saw how they came to me. Like when they see you on camera, they're just like, oh, YouTuber. And then they come and they want, they subscribe. They actually subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is great. I got the makeup and my uh, hotel was about 10 minutes or nine minutes away from there. So there was no need to get an Uber because um, I don't even know if Ubers will come. I tried calling one before, but I need to check that out because I lost internet because for some reason I can't room my phone here. So yeah, um, I'm back to the room now. I'm dressed, all we'll dressed for dinner. Just trying to sleep my wig. <laughs> I'm just trying to sleep my wig, um, touch my makeup up. I like my makeup, like, guys, do you like it? I feel like I'm giving today, giving what I'm meant to give. Just touch my makeup up and I'm going to, got my purse here, taking this purse, this is my purse, my shoes. I'm all set to go, because the plug is quite far from the mirror. So I have to do it then and go check in the mirror. So actually, this is a good way to spend time with you guys. <laughs> watch me straighten my hair. <laughs> just check it out. Hey guys, so I have finished eating. I forgot to get a video of my food. I was used to taking pictures, eating, just trying to round off. But now I am on my way home. I am finishing my, off my water. I had some salmon and rice. I know I didn't even get a video of salmon and rice. Anyway, it was really small and it was really quick. I don't know if you can see the view behind me. It's gorgeous. I think that's the St. Peter's Church. So we're right in the city center. Center. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous view. I'm rounded off tonight and I'm going home to take off my makeup and it's time to pray. I don't know if you guys can hear me because the music is so loud. Yeah, I just thought I'd talk to you guys before I call my Uber. Actually, I'll go downstairs now. Hey guys, I am back to the room. Just got in. I had a Nigerian Uber driver uh, bring me to my room and the conversation was so good. Like, I wish you guys could listen to it. He was just telling me about Vena, how the system works and how it's way better than London and how, you know, about their standard of living and, you know, apparently they have one of the highest standard of living on, in the world. You know, just about the medicals, you know, how quickly the ambulance, the police, like how the system just functions really well. You know, it just really gets you thinking, you know. We had a very good conversation. He said he's been in, in um, Vienna for 31 years, which is a long time. And he gave me a compliment, he tried to guess my age, but <laughs> he thought I was younger, which which is good for me. And um, yeah, so I just got to my room now. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to some sites for sightseeing. So today, I just focused on, you know, the restaurants I wanted to visit it because of limited time tomorrow i'm going to focus on sightseeing so i know that i'm going to danube towers first i think it's the parliament where we passed because he was saying something about it so i might be going to the parliament and i might be going to somewhere else so the three places i have bookmark based off um instagram experience based off just my general research just like just like tourist areas so that's what i'll do tomorrow and then so wake up do that come back get dressed to the airport and i would then then wake up, get dressed for the airport, and then start heading back. My flight is quite early tomorrow. It's for 4 p.m., which means that my pickup is for 1.45. Oh, that's really close. Very unlike me, because usually I like to get to the airport like one hour before. Anyways, it's a good thing because I get to the UK early, get to London tomorrow. So that means I have enough time to, you know, get in, you know, what's it called? Like get going with personal stuff and things like that. But yeah, so far I'm enjoying this vlog. I'm really enjoying my time here in Vienna, you know, learning about new things 
something about just the way other people in the world leave and it's just so interesting to see so i'm gonna take off my makeup now and um gonna be time for bed i'm gonna be time for bed because there's a hallelujah challenge today hope my mic is on all these ones i've been talking let me see because i had this thing in germany where i went to the uh, berlin i went to the german market mic just went off my moroccan vlog as well marrakesh i didn't charge in my mic i thought i charged it so i plugged it for a long time but it wasn't charging so overall guys i'll say it's been a good night time to go to bed time to um i might show you guys when i start the prayer but yeah i need to take all this off right now get packed actually and set up what i want to wear tomorrow so that tomorrow is easy and smooth but yeah i'm so proud of myself today because um i was gonna order more food but i stopped myself so yeah guys um we'll catch up tomorrow tomorrow will be long as i said because i have a pickup for 1 45 p.m so that leaves me between 9 to 1 to go to all the sightseeing i was trying to do that today but obviously that didn't work because i didn't even get to cave either early i'll see you guys i'll talk to you guys soon morning guys i have morning guys this is day two and my last day in vienna austria i have i wake up about six seven you know i have done my prayer because i didn't do the hallelujah challenge last night i came in and i just um, freshened up and i just um i went to bed so today i woke up to the hallelujah challenge I read a bit of my bible which i should actually be finishing i spoke to my family and i have done my makeup which i was gonna take you through but as i always say i'm not a makeup artist or makeup anything i just it's about nine the last time i checked it was 9 36 i'm gonna leave my stuff at the reception i'm going to Tawatanu Bay. I'm going to somewhere called the Shizun Palace. Palace Mayor, the government is. I think that's what we saw last night, but I'm going to confirm that when I get there. And then I'm also going to Central Cafe. I think that's what's called. I want to have breakfast there. I wasn't going to go anywhere else, but I need to have breakfast so I don't get too hungry and then start overeating. This is just all part of my weight loss journey. I will speak to you guys before I um, leave the room because I don't know what it's going to be like when I'm out there. So, because when I went to the Onyx, it was cold. So I asked. So when I went there yesterday, I wasn't able to use my camera. So I wasn't even able to talk. I did get a video on my phone, but I don't know how good the video is and if I'm going to be putting it. But I would try to put it because the restaurant had a view of the Pito Cathedral. So I'm just going to go now. Then I'm going to come back, take my makeup off or not. Because what I used to like to do was just take my makeup off and go to the airport with plain skin. Just because I don't like to have makeup on for a long time. And I think that sounds like a very brilliant idea. But now I'm thinking, should I, should I not? So I don't know. I would come back, decide that. Get it into the UK today at about 5pm, which is quite early. And which is good for me because it means that um, I can go to the gym tomorrow morning. I told my trainer I had to come the day after. I was going to have time when I came back. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As I said, if you have any questions, so Vienna, Australia is somewhere you want to visit, you know, just leave it down below. I would answer as much as I can and as much as I know, because remember, I'm learning just as you are. And I hope you guys enjoy my vlogs. I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm going to come back to basically giving you back to back sit down videos soon and um something i was going to see from the hallelujah challenge today was um when pastor nathaniel bassi pointed out that you know there's some delays in our lives that are caused by us so it's just i don't know why this came to mind but i just felt like speaking about this on my vlog uh, it just came to mind that sometimes you know we are the problem like sometimes have you ever thought that you know, maybe you're the problem in that broken relationship. Maybe you're the problem. I'm not saying going, you know, start blaming yourself when that relationship ends or when anything happens that is not pleasant to you. But sometimes we are actually the problem. Like we are just the problem. And just knowing, recognizing that and just doing better, you know, just doing, correcting your mistakes is very important but some people don't like to admit it some people do i know this is a random 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 curry you know because the prayer was basically for god to shine light in areas that we are that we are delayed because we are the problem maybe because of our unbelief maybe because of our own repentance maybe because of our you know just something maybe because of things you said so i think this is very important i think that's a very important prayer i think this is something that you know everyone should be looking at because sometimes we like to play the victim card it's all nice and good but we had the problem as i said this is a random conversation and i don't know who this is for but this was what was put on my heart to speak to on the spot of the vlog anyways <laughs> i'm gonna leave now i think i'm waffling now i've been talking for a while i'll see you guys soon bye hey guys so i'm on my uber now 
and the first stop as I said is Denui Towers I think there might be a bit of uh, traffic Hey guys, so I'm just going up the Danube Tower. Uh, oh wow, how far is this? We're going up to 150 meters now first. 150 meters? The top of the tower is at 252, but the highest you can go is to 170. Wow. If you want to, the cafe opens at 10.30 and the slide opens at 11. Oh, there's a slide. There's What's a slide? slide? It's like a normal slide. It's at 165 meters. All right. It's like a normal slide, just very high. Wow. The so we're just going up the tower now and it's so, it's 160 meters high. 150 meters is where we are going to be in a moment. 150 meters, oh my God. Usually scary. we go a little faster than that, but it's slower right now because of the wind. Oh. So usually it goes about twice as fast. Fast. Oh wow. Thank you. So how do I get down? Downstairs. Just get the elevator. Again. Okay. Thank you. So guys, we're up here at the Dunibu Tower. It is 150 meters high. I'm on top of the tower, the Danube Tower. I'm gonna show you guys now from me and what I can see. Oh my god! So that's the view I can see on top of the tower. And it's so stunning because there's a lot of breeze up here. guys so I'm still at the top of the Danube Tower I just came to have lunch at the cafe and this is my view so gorgeous so we literally had to go on top of where we were and it's actually very crazy that I I'm very scared of height and I was gonna say that I'm, I'm not someone that really cares about history a lot it's not like I don't care about history but you know I'm not one of those people that were like oh the history of this or learn the history of that well if you guys want me to do more of that on my vlogs let me know you know it's, it's something I can definitely get into so as I said it's not like I, I don't care about it that's a wrong thing to say but it's not so yeah I'm just um going to place an order now at the cafe and then I would go to show you guys more views and I will be off to the palace I think that's where the I'll find out it's 10 40 now my pickup for to the airport is at 1 45 so I've got approximately oh I've still got three hours hmm, okay yes yeah, so I've got three hours to get picked up but I need to be in the, at the hotel at least 45 minutes before so I can decide if I'm taking my makeup off stripping my hair Packing the things that I, you know, last minute things I want to pack before I head to the, off to the airport. But yeah, we'll see what I do. Let me just show you guys more views. So guys, it's so hard to have healthy food here. I've just had to order a roll. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, I just had to order this. This is what they had that was very close to healthy. And um, I just had some water because they didn't have tea. Like, it was just coffee with milk and all that sugar and all that syrup. I didn't want any of that. This was some cheese. Hey guys, I finished having lunch here. I'm going to be going back to my hotel now. I changed my mind. I'm not going to the palace again. It's five minutes past 12. I am going back to my hotel and just going to get my suitcase and then wait on my pickup. My pickup comes in about 45 minutes, so I should be heading downstairs now. So yeah, it was a very short trip. It was uh, about 24 hours actually exactly 24 hours because i came in at 12 i got to my hotel yesterday at 11 to 12 ish yeah to 12 past 12 yesterday so i, I spent exactly 24 hours in vienna Australia. it's been amazing <laughs> amazing amazing so yeah i just thought i would um, speak to you guys before i leave and 
Yeah, that's it really. So I'll um, talk to you guys later in my next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. So, pop out and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, don't forget to ask questions that you want to know regarding Venia. See you in my next video. Bye.